Okay, when we first looked at ionic compounds, we were always exclusively talking about one metal, something from the left-hand side of the periodic table, and one non-metal, something from the right-hand side. Um, but there are also these groups of atoms called polyatomic ions um, that we can also use in ionic compounds, and our naming system doesn't really change. Um, so, for instance, this list, these three, you'll see them on your periodic table. Um, they are written and their charge is showing. We'll talk more about what that charge means and represents. Um, you're responsible for knowing their names. So anytime I see an oxygen and a hydrogen, just like that, an OH group, think of them as a package deal. They are already stuck together, um, like a pre-built Lego piece that I can then go and join with another atom to form an ionic compound. So rather than taking a metal and a non-metal and sticking them together, I can take a metal and a polyatomic ion and stick them together. Um, so if we ever see OH together, we call it hydroxide. NO3, here the, the subscript matters, NO3 is the package deal. Its name is nitrate, SO4 is sulfate, etc. Um, you'll notice that these are the ones that end in 8, with a couple exceptions. Um, nitrate, sulfate, phosphate, carbonate are all nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and carbon with a bunch of oxygens attached. So it doesn't change my naming system, but in place of the metal or the non-metal or both, I can have a polyatomic ion and I never change their name. Um, so for example, if I have CA, NO3, 2. Okay, again, don't worry about where the parentheses and the other two came from. You'll learn that next. But we'd approach this normally. So I'd see calcium is the first thing. It's my metal. I name it without changing anything. And then normally I look at my non-metal and change the ending to I. But since NO3 is a polyatomic ion, I'm just going to take its name. Calcium nitrate. Um, I could have two polyatomics. I could have NH4, SO4, ammonium and sulfate. NH4's name is ammonium. If you've heard of ammonia, that's NH3, slightly different. Ammonium and sulfate. So don't change the endings here. Just name the first thing and the second thing. The first thing and the second thing. Um, and that's it. Try those.